Sometimes as student leaders, we get so wrapped up in all the tasks that we have to do, you know, the events, the meetings, things like that, that we don't stop and actually ask the most critical question uh, impacting morale for our organization. And that is simply, why do we exist? If we cease to exist right now, if we just close the whole thing down, who would, who would care? Who would be affected? Uh, what unique purpose do we serve on this campus? How do we make our members or our constituents' lives better? Um, how do we improve this campus environment uh, and make it a better place? These are critical questions that we sometimes just never bother to ask. And I often say to student organizations that are suffering with morale problems or apathy problems, why do you exist? Can you defend your existence? Can your members articulate why your organization needs to continue? And it sounds like such a fundamental, almost offensive question sometimes, but it's really good to ask that question and to really dig into it. And if you're looking at three, four members of your organization and people have been dropping off and people aren't showing up, this might be the question that is really the only one left to ask, you know. So one of the things I would say that you should do is you should just uh, start off a meeting uh, or a retreat with that simple question. What if we just close this whole thing up? What if we just sent the money that we have in the checking account to other organizations. What if we just closed up shop and did away with this thing? Who would care, right? Now, sometimes different things happen when you do that. Sometimes people are like, what the hell are you talking about? We have to have this organization. It's amazing. It's important. It serves this purpose. And if people get really pumped up and, you know, def they defend the existence of the organization and they, they're sort of passionate about it and they can articulate why your organization is important, then that's fantastic. And then you just have to ask questions like, how can we better serve this mission we have? Uh, what should we be doing that we're not doing? And what are we doing that maybe is detracting from the servicing of that mission, right? Just kind of get some mission, uh, you know, focus around what you're doing with, with your organization. And that can be really helpful. That's a great use of time at a retreat or a meeting is to figure out what is our mission? What are we doing? Why are we important? How are we serving that mission? Okay. Now, the other way it can go is you can propose this, this whole question of why do we exist, what if we just closed up shop, and everybody could just stare at you and be like, you know, guess it wouldn't really matter, you know, no one seems to care, no one's, we're not having any fun, uh, you know, this organization isn't changing the world, it's, you know, we have to beg everybody to show up. It's quite possible people could just say, you know, maybe this organization's outlasted its usefulness, and that's not a bad thing. Sometimes companies do that, you know. Um, you have companies all the time that close down because their product just isn't what people want anymore. Uh, you have people suspending political campaigns right now because they have no follow, uh, no followers that are uh, giving money and, and being passionate about the message of their candidate. This happens, right? It's a natural thing. Things are always being born and things are always having to go away. So uh, if that's your organization, maybe you could uh, all quit spinning your wheels so much and just decide that maybe it's time to look a different direction, you know? Um, if that happens, if you, if you see yourself, if your group is really having that discussion. It might feel really sad, but you could ask some other questions. Could this organization make some fundamental changes that would make it more relevant to today? Um, I used to work with peer education organizations, for example, and for a long time they always talked about alcohol and drugs. Well, after a certain amount of time, people weren't responding to that, so they became more about mental health or sexual health or uh, sexual assault prevention, whatever. They had to change the focus of their group, and maybe your organization needs to do that. Maybe they need to change their name. Uh, maybe you need to change your structure. Maybe you just need to you know, completely rehab this thing. Uh, another way that it could go is you could decide that maybe you need to merge with another group. Maybe there's another group on campus that's doing something similar to what you're doing and you would function better as, you know, part of their organization. Maybe two small organizations can come together and form one good viable one. Um, you know, it's a good thing to talk about. Um, another thing you could decide to do is just to close up shop. And if that happens, it's not like a huge failure. It's just the natural progression of things. Things die, you know. And so uh, you can be the leader that can help do that. I was on a board once and we had to shut down a nonprofit and send all the money in the bank account. And we had to, you know, a couple of staff members had to had to move on to other jobs with other companies. But that was necessary because the organization wasn't relevant anymore. So remember, if you're dealing with apathy, if you're dealing with morale problems, it means one of two things. Either your members are not connecting with the leadership of your organization or the mission isn't relevant anymore. The mission isn't motivating people. People aren't getting behind it. And you might even notice that in some of your leaders. They're kind of half-assing everything and they're not very motivated either. If that's the case, uh, have a conversation. Why do we exist? What if we cease to exist? And if we do exist, what is the mission, the unique purpose that we serve on this college campus? Thanks. Have a great day.